We're going to multiply a four digit number by a one digit number using the partial product, showing students that they can do this strategy with any multi digit number. It helps them to be more comfortable and flexible with their multiplication strategies, knowing that it is the same as what they did with the two digit by one or the three digit by one. We're just adding on one more place value. So we're going to line the numbers up vertically. Then again, you want students to write the value of each of the digits out and then multiply it by your one digit number. So seven is in the, ten, the, in the thousands place. So we know 7,000, we're gonna multiply that by three. Six in the, is in the hundreds place. So we're gonna multiply 600 times three. Two is in the tens place, so it's 20 times three, and then five in the ones place, five times three. Then next, you want students to write the products out for each of these separate e expressions, or turn into an equation. Seven times three is 21, then 1,000 times greater than that is 21,000. Six times three, is 18 and then 100 times greater than that is 1800 now I want to make sure my numbers are lined up because I don't want to add in correctly so I know this is four digits so I'm going to rewrite that sometimes students won't know until they find the product how many digits is in that product 20 times 3 I know is 60 so that's going to be two digits and then five times three is 15, which will also be two digits. Last, you want students to add the partial products up together. We know in the ones place, there will be five ones, seven tens, eight hundreds, two thousands, and 20,000 or two ten thousands. So the total product of 7,625 times 3 is 22,875. We multiplied a four-digit number by a one-digit number using the partial product strategy.